Hello everybody and welcome to Jumble House and today's Sunday Challenge. Last week the challenge was to imagine if we were really, really, really tiny. So tiny we could crawl into a hole in a log of wood or into a snail shell. I imagined what it would be like if I lived in a hole in a tree, what my house would be like. And look, this is inside my house. I used a dandelion flower as the light and my bed is a small branch which comes from the side of the hole. Little twig really and the bed itself is one of those bracket fungus and the window is covered in a spider's web. My table is a toadstool, and the stools are acorns, and the little acorn cups make really good little soup bowls. I wanted to use a snail shell. I wanted to imagine I was so tiny I could crawl right inside. And of course the snail shell is a spiral. And so I found a picture of a pagoda which has got like this spiral staircase going all the way up. And I used this app called Pic Collage. It's really fun. But I found using the complete picture of the pagoda was just too difficult. And so I just used the very top of it. And I cut out a leaf and a spider's web as a bed and a marrow as a light. And I used a toadstool too for my table. And the leaf was the carpet on the floor. I used tiny snail shells as the cups and the acorns as stools. I tried the Pic Collage app too and I really enjoyed it. I used the same theme as I did with my drawing, a hole in a tree. But this time I found a picture of a hole in a tree and enlarged it. And then I chose a mushroom again as my table and snail shells as soup bowls. And a spider's web as my bed and a teasel as the light. I really like the effect. It's very, very spooky and eerie. Well, I hope you liked seeing what we'd created this week. And we'd love to see some of yours. If you could get an adult to email them to us, we will only print your first name and no contact details. And so now, on to next week's challenge. And next week's challenge is a jumble box challenge. What kind of creature can you make from these six polystyrene balls? You can add anything else that you like, but you can only use six of the polystyrene balls. But here are some pictures of a few other things you may find useful, just to give you a few ideas. So that's all from me, Georgie, and from Alfie, and everyone else at Jumble House. Until next time, have fun, and don't forget to visit our website and our channel, where you'll find lots more really fun activities.